Welcome back. Prince William and Prince Harry have put aside their differences to honour their mother, the late Princess Diana. Earlier, the two brothers unveiled a statue at the Sunken Gardens at Kensington Palace. Today would have been Diana's 60th birthday. This, of course, is William and Harry's second public appearance together since Harry and his wife Meghan stepped down as senior royals and moved to California. Well, our Max Foster is covering this story for us, senior royal correspondent, and joins us now live. Uh, certainly all eyes on the brothers today to see how their relationship is playing out, uh, given all the reports we've heard over the last few months that they're barely on speaking terms. What did you notice? Well, you, actually, you notice how they were getting on incredibly well, actually. They came in together, they walked towards the statue, they're talking to Diana's siblings there who were invited, along with the sculptor and the gardener, and it looked as though uh, they were on very good terms. I mean, how much can you read into that? It's very, there's undoubtedly tension between the two. They're barely on speaking terms, but I think they came to this event, into the garden they grew up in, uh, to unveil the statue that they co-commissioned together so this was very much a joint project they were involved in every part of this process and then they were there to unveil it so I think that they wanted to make this a moment about Diana frankly and not about them and I think that with their media experience they managed to do that and uh, perhaps uh, you know there is or of course there's going to be a connection there they this is the house they grew up in and this is a moment where they found that uh, who knows if it's a, a longer term healing of this rift we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, you can only hope for that. Um, and this, of course, is a permanent memorial uh, to Princess Diana and all her work. Uh, talk to us about the Sunken Garden, because this was a place where William and Harry played there as kids, right? Yeah, so it is a private garden within the palace, and this is uh, apparently one of Diana's favourite spots, and they've replanted it with 4,000 flowers and uh, to make this statue a centrepiece. It's very much a tribute uh, to their mother. But, yeah, this is where Prince and Harry would have played when they were young. But they also want this to be a public project, which is why our cameras were invited in, and the public will be able to see the statue. They won't be able to go straight up to it because, as I say, it is a private garden, but they'll be able to see the statue in a place that was very important to Diana and William and Harry and get a sense of being in that space and remember her. They, they talk about her life and legacy. This isn't just about Diana being a royal, not just about her being a mother. This was Diana as a public figure, a humanitarian, someone who pioneer, pioneered uh, celebrity activism in many ways. And I think this is what this statue's about. So you see children around her in the statue. Uh, those are representatives of younger generations, really speaking to a lot of the work that she carried out in her time. And also it's an image from later on in her life when she felt more empowered. And of course, again on this trip, uh, Meghan did not join Harry. Um, of course, last month they welcomed their, their, their second child, a little baby girl. Uh, but we'll have to leave it there for now, Max. <laughs> Getting the wrap. Good to have you on the story. Thanks so much.